Hello guys, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are going to build a serverless chat application in React.js. Let me show you first what we are gonna build. Yeah, it is my app and here I should allow access to my microphone and camera and then I can... Let me mute the audio. For example, I can insert a username, click on the login button, I will be logged in, hello, and now uh, I need another user, so I'm going to open another tab for the second user, and the name is going to be Alex, and yeah, it's Alex camera, and now I want to, from the master device, I want to call Alex, so I need to insert Alex name here, and press the call button. So it will call Alex and Alex automatically answer the call and now we can see both cameras here using WebRTC and Firebase. I actually used a Firebase a database for the signaling part of my application and also used WebRTC for communication between peers in network because this is a peer-to-peer -peer connection. You don't need server for uh, doing the video or audio transfer between users. You just need a server for signaling. And I decided to use Firebase in order to it to be serverless. We don't need to know anything about backend. We don't need to pay for our server. We just uh, start with Firebase and when our application grows and we get more users we just need to pay for the amount of uh, space that we have used on Firebase databases. Okay, uh, the first thing that I want to do in this video I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, WebRTC, a short explanation about how it works and then uh, I will start uh, configuring uh, the a Firebase database in our project and then finally we will uh, get into WebRTC how to co connect it with uh, Firebase database and finalizing our chat application. If you are new here, uh, please consider subscribing and leave this video a like uh, if you like it. It's under the button section of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's start. Uh, I should say that because it's an educational video and I don't want to make a long video, uh, uh, I decided not to go with security steps for WebRTC and the app that we will make uh, is not safe at all. You should uh, y uh, do the security steps by yourself if you want to use it in your project there are some uh, encryption uh, methods that you can use them it's not that much hard and maybe i will create another video about making our web rtc safe but for this tutorial you should uh, take care of the security yourself in the first part i want to explain how web rtc works you can skip this part uh, as I did uh, for the first time and I faced with problems and I had to uh, understand it completely so uh, I suggest you uh, understand WebRTC and then start coding okay uh, there are lots of tutorials on internet but unfortunately most of them uh, are using the functions that currently deprecated and in the modern browsers they are not supported and you will face problems like me so it is the uh, best document that I found based on developer Mozilla ORG. I will add this link into the description. Uh, it's always up to date, so you can use it as your material to understand how WebRTC works and implement the sections, but it's not a tutorial, it's a kind of documentation. I just want to explain how WebRTC works using this diagram. Let me zoom in a bit. Yeah, here we have three parts. The first part is color. The second is signal and server that we will use Firebase for it. And the other part is uh, also 
other user uh, which is Kali here uh, we should uh, do some steps that are the same for both parts for example we should create a RTCP peer connection and here you can see we have it and again we should use a get user media function in order to uh, have access to user webcam and audio device and again we will have it here and we also after creating the connection and getting the user stream we should uh, uh, add the uh, video to the connection using add track or we will use add stream function it does the same and here we will have it as you can see it should be somewhere here yeah at track okay uh, you can do these parts uh, before uh, doing the negotiation between the uh, users and once it's ready you should uh, create an offer and send it using the signaling server to the other user and the other user will listen to the offer just uh, set some settings uh, using RTC session description it will apply the offer and create an answer uh, after the colleague created that answer we should uh, pass it using our signaling server to the caller again and caller will read it and apply some settings like RTC session description it will set the remote description to our to his connection and then the connection will start and we can uh, see both users uh, inside our application the other thing that is important for WebRTC because it's a peer-to-peer -peer connection we should uh, find a way to handle a connection between them using NAT servers uh, if we don't use ICE candidate exchange uh, actually both peers cannot see each other on the network uh, the only thing that here is important is that when we got a new candidate we should uh, pass it using our signaling server to the caller Kali and again here if we found any candidate we should pass it to the other user it's so simple i will uh, explain it to you uh, while i'm coding that part uh, for the signaling part i will be using firebase railton database because it's serverless and it has a lot of benefits i will do another video and put it in the top link you can watch that in order to understand what is serverless and how to implement firebase databases but for now i just want to uh, explain it a little bit uh, how to configure it you just need to uh, sign up in google console create a new app and get the uh, config file it's uh, api key authentication domain and this information you just need to have this here and you also need a package firebase you just need to use install it using npm and after you install it uh, here is the best documentation for uh, how to works with uh, firebase database for reading and writing data let me show you the project that we are gonna work on it uh, i actually consider that you know the basics of react so in this video we don't want to talk about set state or props or what this component did mount and these things we just want to concentrate on webrtc and firebase and uh, set up and run our project within uh, react.js so here i have one app.js file uh, which i have another component inside it video chat container it's container of our chat application we just have some states we have some reference to our video elements that we are going to uh, display a user camera inside them we have our component lead mount other functions i will explain them later and within it we have another component video chat inside the video chat we just doing the ui part and inside video chat container we will be doing 
uh, the more logic related stuff you also can uh, do all the project in one or two files but i decided to divide it to four different parts in order to make it more simpler and easier to understand okay inside the video chat as i said uh, it's a simple react.js component we just have some states and some functions for example for rendering the videos as you can see or for example showing the uh, current username of user and connected user also here we have render forms in order to render uh, let me show you yeah these forms they are pretty simple and yeah inside the render function we just checked if uh, we already connected uh, if we are not connected render forms otherwise do nothing and also render the videos yeah and inside the rtc module i just want to do all the stuff which are related to webrtc and in the firebase module i want to do uh, the communication and the signaling part of the project i definitely would suggest you if you want to uh, understand it well uh, start with the starter branch of my project i will add it inside the description uh, the link of my github repo you will have when you download it you will have this project which is raw and you can code along with me and complete it the completed project but if you don't want to do this you can also download the full source code of the application which is uh, the link is inside the description as well okay let's start with our firebase module uh, I hope that you watched the other video which is related to Firebase uh, real-time database uh, as I mentioned earlier but here I want to explain everything to you uh, in uh, Firebase we store all the data inside one JSON tree in our tree we can have several branches and you can decide how to structure your data and there are lots of ways to do this uh, here inside our application we just uh, for example if it's a root object we don't write it directly inside our root we will create another branch named notifs and we will have another sub branch for each user that uh, has logged in inside our, our application for example if we have a user named Masood. Uh, so we will we have a sub branch of notifs named Masood and we for example if we have Alex again we will have another sub branch inside the notifs branch named Alex okay for the do login for all of these uh, functions as you can see I need to have access to our database instance in order to apply changes to the firebase and we almost have the username the current the username is the username of current user inside our application and sometimes we have two which is uh, the username of the other user that we want to send a message to him for doing the logging part i just first need to remove everything that we have for this username in the past sessions for example if user logged into the, our system we just need to remove everything and uh, do a fresh uh, login so i need to use database instance and then using ref we can have access to the exact branch that i want first i should specify root and then my branch which is notifs and inside it i need to go to the username branch so i easily can add username here and yeah i just remove everything using the remove function after we removed we just need to check if the value is changed 
uh, we need to uh, update our application so we just listen to every changes that is happening to this branch to do this just do the database ref again the same and we are going to use on function on is used for listening for every change of this branch and I should uh, use value here value keyword and then I will get an, a snapshot which uh, includes our new value of the object of this branch so it will be an arrow function and here first of all I need to check if the value exists using a snapshot that exists in order to don't face with null values and then if it was uh, if we had it so we just need to call handle update function and the pass the value to this callback handle update we actually have a handle update inside our video chat container which is uh, empty now and we will add it later so handle update and we just need to read the value of our variable using a snapshot.val function and then i also need to pass username to the handle update function because we will need uh, the username there to sum it up uh, what we did inside the do logging function we almost did everything other than uh, actually logging the user inside the app we didn't uh, we don't want to do the authentication for this application but if you want to have authentication you can use passwords and check them inside the do login we you can store them in somewhere inside your database and just check if it's valid or not but here to make it simple i don't want to do the authentication let's go for the send offer we have the do offer function we just need to uh, send some data to the another user to do this we just need to do one thing we should write to the user branch and when we write it this function will be called and the other user will notice that there is a new update so it will get the value and process that update so to write database ref and again notifs and here I need to have the other user username so I'm gonna use two variable here and using set function we can write values so here I just want to send the type it should be offer and also I want to tell the other user who sent this message so I'm gonna pass my username and also the offer object that we will get it uh, from the webrtc for now we just need to serialize it using a stringify and offer variable that we got from our function parameters for sending answer we should do the same await database.ref notifs to here we don't want to uh, remove other values uh, when we use set function we can write but when I use set for example I just want to change the type if I use set it will remove the from and the offer uh, values but I don't like it and here I just want to update one thing one or two thing so uh, I'm gonna use update function and type is gonna be 
answer from username answer should be json dot stringify yeah we got the answer from uh, somewhere else inside the video chat container and we sent it to the other user by writing to his branch directly using update function and for the candidate inside it i just want to get a new candidate which we received in webrtc and transfer it to the other peer or other user again do the same await database ref natives plus two dot update again and I want to set type to candidate and from username and candidate should be again json stringify candidate because we cannot directly uh, send objects using a firebase database so i need to stringify it first and when we got the message we should do the reverse and change it again to the object yeah it's ready let's go to write our handle update function yeah here i just first check if not if exists and then uh, do a switch case on notif.type and here for case offer we should actually listen to the connection events and also we should send an answer send the answer yeah and just break for the other case it should be answer inside the answer we just need to start the call and break for candidate we just do need add candidate to our connection and break also the default doesn't have anything here We also need to do one thing else. We should initialize our Firebase database inside our component did mount. So to do this, uh, we just need to import Firebase database and then we can initialize it in this way, firebase.initialize app. And then we should pass our configs that we have downloaded them from Google console so config we need to import them first import conf let me check from config yeah and just pass it to its constructor to be initialized and uh, yeah we need to sorry i forgot to import the firebase instance uh, we should also add it firebase from firebase app the package that we install has a lot of features since we just need to 
uh, use a database so I just import Firebase app it's the general instance and imported separately the database feature of Firebase uh, here is our application I can type a username press the login button but nothing happens because we actually just wrote our Firebase module but we haven't used it anywhere so let's do the WebRTC part and connect everything together okay uh, based on this chart the first thing that we need to do is create a new connection for each users and get user media actually get the user webcam access and add it to our connection so to do this inside component did want i want to do this and i just want to uh, create our local stream using a function named initiate local stream and it's a empty function let me fill it using const stream it's a promise so i need to use await and to get access to user webcam i need to uh, call this function navigator dot media devices get user media and i should uh, specify uh, do i need video yes and do i need audio yes and just return our string so we can get it inside our container and then we need to uh, set the stream to the video tag of my application which i have access to it using creative function local video ref so i just uh, need to do local video ref src object equals to local stream yeah let me check what we have yeah as you can see when i open it it will ask me i need permission for your microphone and your camera so i can allow it and my webcam start recording but since the video is hidden now by the CSS code uh, we cannot see it let me just enable it for a second to show you it works or not inside the section I just wrote a display none here let's do it black yeah you can see my face hello <laughs> okay uh, let's go for the next step uh, I actually need to create my connection here so let's do it const local connection using await again initiate connection function we don't need to pass anything and let's go to the this function and here I just need to create my connection using Google Public Stone Server. It's actually for ICE Candidate Exchange that I explained it earlier. We just need to use a public server of Google to do this. We also can have private server, but I don't see any need for this. So const config configuration equals to ice servers should be you should write exactly this urls and stun 
stan 21 googlecom 19302 and using this configuration I should create my connection it's so easy just con equals to new RTC peer connection and just pass the configuration to it and then return it because we have lots of work with this connection later yeah and uh, we need to store our uh, firebase database and our local stream and our local connection inside our states because we will have need them uh, to do this I'm gonna use set state and just database equals to firebase dot database in this way you will initiate your database instance and then local stream and local connection okay uh, now uh, we actually need when user clicks on the login button we should uh, log it in user inside our application we actually have on login function our ui component which is video chat js file will uh, fire this function when the user clicks on the button so i just need to uh, call the function that we wrote it inside our firebase module section uh, await yeah await uh, do login and i should pass the username read it from the parameter section and this that state that database because we need database and finally handle update function so this dot handle update so now I can log in yeah I see myself here and now it's time to send a new offer to the other user I can write for example Alex here and create a new offer and send it uh, to that user let's do it uh, we have another function a start call which will be fired when user clicks on the call button and we will have my username and the other user username that we want to create a call to him so the first thing that i want to do is to listen to the every events that we will have in our webrtc so let's first write that module uh, it's listen to the connection events inside it I just want to listen to the ice events and also uh, check if the user added his stream to the connection I just read it and display it uh, for the first part we can use the connection that we passed it to in function use con dot on ice candidate and then we should define a function and get the new candidate using the event check if event that candidate exists then just uh, send the candidate to the other user as I explained to you uh, here let me show you one more time where is that image yeah it's here as I said uh, when we should listen for uh, events inside uh, ice candidate exchange process and when we found a new event we should transfer it using our signaling server to the other peer so to do this we here got the new event the new candidate we just want to uh, send it to the other user using do candidate 
that we wrote inside a Firebase module. Do candidate and remote username. We got it from the parameters and uh, the candidate using event.candidate, database and username. And here I also need to check if user added a new track or new stream so I can do it using con on track and again a function event and check if remote video ref dot rc object was not equal to the uh, e dot streams zero then set it for me rc object e dot streams zero yeah actually we just checked if we haven't applied the user stream which is here inside the e streams array the first uh, child uh, if we haven't applied it to our remote video ref which is the place uh, the video tag actually that we sh want to display use uh, the other user stream in it so we apply it yeah and now inside the start call i want to listen to this events so let's call it and pass our connection username remote username we should use user to call database let's get from a state database and remote video ref that we have it here let me just copy it and uh, oh this dot remote video ref and what else do we need here do candidate function we could easily uh, directly use this function inside the rtc module but i did it in this way in order to separate these files from each other for example you want to use rtc in your project but you don't want to use firebase so in this way you can do it using another function for example if you have a backend with node.js what the problem is oh connection we forgot local connection and this function is not imported yeah now it works fine and now it's time to create a new offer and send it to the other user let me check the current follow yeah here we did uh, we created our connection in component did mount we got the user media and also yeah here we need to uh, add our video stream to the connection we could uh, do it inside the component did want but i want to do this in when we want to actually create a call so here uh, inside the create a new offer before creating any offer i first add uh, my stream to the connection and then create a new offer so I have a function inside my RTC module. Let me find it. It should be the first one. Yeah, create offer. Just import it. Create offer and pass local connection. Oh, sorry. And local stream. and user to call to offer function 
our database and username why oh we forgot to import it from the state yeah let's write the logic that we want to have inside the create offer function as i said first of all i need to add my uh, stream so i'm going to use add stream and i got the local stream so i can use it inside the image it has used add track i don't know what uh, the difference is between add stream or add track maybe add track is uh, deprecated now or not i'm not sure you can uh, do a little research about it but it works currently and i checked it in modern browsers and here comes offer await connection dot create offer in this way we created a new offer and await we just as i said we should uh, always set the description after creating a new offer or a new answer so here to do this i just need to uh, use connection set local description and pass my offer to it and then it's time to send the offer to the other peer using firebase so do offer the first parameter is two actually we should use user to call and the offer object and our database and username okay now uh, this part is completed when we actually click on the call button it will send an offer to the other peer and let's do the other side to receive a offer and process it after we send an offer to the other user, the other user will get it inside this section and it will be passed to the handle update and here uh, this section will be run. So here I want to first listen to the connection events for the other user as well because uh, the first user uh, clicked on the start call so he, he already listened to the connection events but for the other user we should do it here and now uh, again we should pass the same things let me just copy it here and copy it here We just need to exchange user to call to notif dot uh, from and then we need to also uh, send an answer to the other user so I'm gonna do this using another function uh, let me check what was the name I cannot remember send answer yeah send answer and now we should have local connection here local stream not if that we got from the function input and do answer function which is uh, our firebase function to send the answer again to the first user database and username okay here i again need to uh, add my local string to my connection in order to the other user can get it this uh, string add the local stream to the connection set the remote and local descriptions as i said after uh, receiving uh, offer or creating a new answer or offer we should 
uh, apply descriptions let me do this connection dot add string what I'm doing I don't know local stream and then const offer I'm gonna get the offer we actually stringified it and now it's time to parse it not if dot offer and now we can apply it the description I mean using set remote description and now I just need to pass the offer variable here because we got the offer from the remote user we should use remote description but for the answer that we will create uh, we should use set local description function let me first create answer const answer wait because it's a promise create answer and con set local description and I should pass the answer to it and finally we need to uh, tell the other user that we accepted your offer and here is my answer using do answer function of firebase module not if from an answer object database and username okay let's go back to our handle uh, update function i forgot to tell that here uh, i also need to uh, store the uh, connected user inside my state so i just need to set a state connected user native dot from because i will be using it uh, to show the username of the other user underneath his video stream and for the answer i should do the same when we actually got the answer from the other user we first save his username and then we should use a start call function to uh, start the call it we should pass local connection and not if it's empty now oh we should import it start call yeah and here we should uh, actually this function will be called when we receive an answer from other peer to start the call and set remote description so here we need to set the remote description using let me change it to con to be same everywhere and here also con dot uh, set what should it be we should use remote because uh, it is uh, the for the other user so just I need to first I need to get the answer from our JSON notif.answer and now pass it to my description function yeah it is ready just the candidate part is remain let's fix it and run our application for ice candidate let me review everything here uh, inside our RTC we should have one function to listen to 
a candidate events when a new candidate is available we want to send it to the other user we so we uh, send it using do candidate function and then we will receive it inside handle update inside the candidate section so here i just I need to apply this candidate to my connection add candidate and local connection and native and here to do this uh, I just need to get candidate json.parse native.candidate and con dot add ice candidate new rtc ice candidate and the candidate i told a lot of candidate words <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay it should be now ready i just want to add uh, something here to prevent uh, re-renders because for example when we set the local stream or when we set our database we don't need uh, uh, react.js to re-render my application because nothing is changed for the user so let's do it inside should component update if this state database wasn't equal to next state dot database should return false it means that if the database field was changed don't render for me by sending return false and for other fields as well if this dot state a local stream next state local stream do the same and if the state local connection next state dot local connection otherwise return true because for the other variables we need to update the ui we need to uh, install another package for our webrtc project let me show you yeah it's a webrtc adapter uh, because uh, uh, there are some differences between browsers for example there are some prefixes uh, that you should use for each function of WebRTC and they are different for each browser in order to don't worry about this you just can install the WebRTC adapter and import it inside your project and the adapter will fix all these issues and take care of it for you and uh, you won't face any problem so just install it using npm and import it in this way you can easily import WebRTC adapter in your main file. You can import it in app.js or video chat container. And yeah, uh, that should work. We don't need anything else. Let me check our application works or not. Let's create two windows. The first user should be Masood. Yeah, I see myself. And for the other user, I'm going to use Alex for the username, login. Yeah, also Alex is here because uh, we use same device, so the picture is same. Now I want to call Alex, so I just need to uh, write Alex name here inside the massive device and click on the call button. Yeah, we finally did it. Uh, it took a lot of time for us to write, uh, to write these codes, but now it works and great job guys. 
before leaving this video I wanted to say uh, what do you think guys about this video and what topics you would like me to make videos about in future please share with me in the comment section below and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it you probably enjoy watching these videos as well bye guys to the next video